Good morning and buenos dias. I am Abu Shaib and welcome back for another lesson in Puerto Rican expressions. This morning I want to share two colloquial expressions which are commonly used here on the island. But first I want to review a little bit about basic Spanish vocabulary so that you'll better be able to understand where we're coming from when we use these expressions, or at least one of them. One of the most commonly used words in the Spanish language in general is the word así, A-S accented I. This word means like this, like that, like so, so, thus, thusly. It has quite a few meanings. It's very frequently used. Another very, very frequently used verb in Spanish is dejar. This verb means to let or to leave. For example, déjalo así, déjalo así, déjalo así. Leave it like that, leave it like that, déjalo así. Déjalo ir, let it go. In Disney's Frozen, when they translated the big song, Let It Go, they translated it to vivo soy, which means alive I am. However, literally translated, the phrase let it go in Spanish would be déjalo ir. However, we, when we use it in Spanish, we're generally saying physically, literally, let it go. When we talk about that figurative stuff, let it go, man, like issues, we have other ways of expressing those ideas. Another very commonly used verb in the Spanish language is the verb llevar. This verb can also be used with the reflective pronoun. It generally means uh, to take, to carry, to... It can also, here in Puerto Rico, it means to steal. You can use that verb to say they'll steal it. Uh, Guardalo bien or se lo llevan. Lock it up good or they'll steal it. We can also use this verb with the reflective pronoun llevarse, for example, me, yo me llevo bien con los americanos. I get along well with Americans. Now the expression that I want to talk about is déjate llevar. This expression means, uh, obviously the literal meaning is let yourself be carried away. There's something to this effect, let yourself be carried away. But I've translated it generally, go with the flow. It means, you know, everything's going to work out. Just stop, stop resisting, stop making problems. Everything's going to be fine. Déjate llevar. You can, there are some variations on this. You can say, déjame llevarte. It's let me take you there. When you're trying to give somebody instructions or make your point with somebody and they're not seeing it, déjame llevarte. I, I know how to do this. I know what I'm talking about. Listen to me. Okay, this, this phrase, was in fashion a few years ago. It's still used, it's just not as pegado. I want to talk about this. A la moda means fashion, and this also means like in clothing, clothing fashion, the fashion world, a la moda. La moda is fashion. So this phrase was in fashion, a la moda. Bien pegado is another way of saying that. Pegar is the verb to hit. If something is bien pegado, like a song or a TV show, it's a big hit. Bien pegado, bien pegado por todo la isla. It was a big hit all over the island. Now another expression that I want to share is what they've been saying in my daughter's elementary school playground lately, and that's guacale, guacale. There's no real way to write it. They're just, it's a new word that the kids are using. Guacale, you could write it like this in formal Spanish, I guess. In Mexican Spanish, they would probably choose to write it like this, guacale, guacale. And the kids are using it to say, wow, incredible, that's great, far out, groovy, guacale, guacale. Well, I hope you learned a couple of Puerto Rican expressions and some basic Spanish grammar. Thank you for viewing and have a great day.